Now, as the general elections draw closer, political parties and independent candidates continue to ramp up their election campaigns. Now, this past weekend, the African National Congress painted KwaZulu-Natal green and yellow uh, doing door-to-door -door campaigns ahead of the elections. And we know that uh, they are gearing up uh, to the Asimoba rally, which is uh, scheduled to, to take place on the 25th of May. Bahai, so good evening. And welcome to this edition of Soweto Today. Tonight we are joined in studio by Masilo Sirekele, who is the spokesperson for the ANC in the Greater Johannesburg region. And he's here to detail the party's election campaign in the city and readiness of the much anticipated rally, which I said will take place on the 25th of May 2024. He's joining us in studio this evening. Uh, Masilo, much appreciated for coming in. Welcome to the show. Uh, thanks very much uh, for hosting us. Uh, in fact, uh, it's long overdue. We have been wanting to come and engage <laughs> uh, with your, your audience, uh, your viewership. Uh, you are one of our great stakeholders in Johannesburg as the ANC, but we appreciate the time that you've allocated to us as the ANC. Much appreciated. I mean, let's get into it. I mean, we know that uh, you will have your Sianuaba rally and you've been, uh, you know, on the ground with door to door campaigns. I mean, let's touch on the very serious issues that are happening in Johannesburg before we get into the rally itself. I mean, the issues of, um, we know previously, yes, it's been over 26 days now without uh, load shedding and stuff, uh, but uh, there was water shedding in the previous weeks and then communities have complained. There are, um, you know, various issues of service delivery issues. As the ANC, uh, I mean, what seems to be the problem? Is it an issue of the infrastructure um, uh, that needs to be uh, rehabilitated or uh, there's maybe something that's going on? <laughs> no, thanks very much. Look, uh, with regards to the issue of, uh, of water crisis that we have experienced in the previous month or so, uh, the biggest issue there, I think, is the issue of an infrastructure. Uh, and, and that infrastructure, remember, the infrastructure in Johannesburg is, is 60 years old. Mm. Uh, and given the disruption of government that we have experienced in Johannesburg from 2016, uh, and, and there were some of our, pro, uh, our, uh, our, our project uh, in, in the city that were disrupted by the collusion of Mashaba, which neglected the, the, uh, the maintenance of some of major yeah. infrastructures uh, across uh, the, uh, the region or across the city, uh, then that affected much of our water infrastructure. But the biggest uh, culprit here is not the city of Johannesburg per se, but it's the rainwater. Uh, but the rainwater now is turning the corner, is trying up to come up with a turnaround strategy to fix their infrastructure. Because remember, we get our water from rainwater. Yeah. The, back, the bulk of the water we get is from rainwater, and the infrastructure of rainwater is the one that affects uh, the city you not know, to deliver uh, water to the, the residents of Johannesburg. But I think we, uh, almost a month ago, rendered the, 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 the meetings with um, major municipalities or big uh, metros in the, in the province to resolve the issue of water. Not only city of Johannesburg alone, but the, the Ekurulini municipality was represented, including uh, the municipality of Tswane. Mm -hmm. Uh, that uh, rent water have came up with the tenant strategy to deal with this infrastructure backlog so that it can be able to provide services to our people. I mean, there's also the issue of um, 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 unemployment uh, in the greater Johannesburg region. I mean, the whole province we know, obviously, there are initiatives in place to deal with that crisis. Um, I mean, we're seeing, uh, you know, Ikrash Nolova, we're seeing Nasi Spani, Oi, oi, how did, there's quite a lot that's happening. Yeah. Um, um, how do you, as the ANC, come up with um, um, uh, you know, plans to address these, um, uh, the, 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 the situation that is facing young people, particularly in, in the region? Because we know you see them across uh, you know, Johannesburg uh, trying to find those jobs uh, and stuff. And it seems like it's, it's, it's really a, a major crisis uh, for the country in general as you are trying as the ANC government to come up with those jobs. Uh, but how do you come up with these initiatives uh, um, that uh, you've recently implemented? I, I know you won't speak for the Houghton Provincial Government, but 
uh, maybe let me hear from the great because you are also having something there. No, look, uh, in, in all honesty, the issue of uh, joblessness or unemployment in this country is a major issue uh, for, the, uh, for both as, as the ANC and both as government. Uh, but if you check our manifesto, the key, uh, in fact, we have six priorities on our manifesto, and the biggest and the number one priority is jobs. Mm -hmm. uh, now, we have highlighted uh, jobs as the biggest issue, but as the ANC in Gauteng, uh, and as the ANC in Johannesburg, we have came with a program of Nazi Spanish, as you have already alluded, from Panyaza Litsufi. And that program is to deal uh, with the issues of uh, unemployment in both in the province. And because Johannesburg is the biggest metro, is the biggest beneficiary of that particular program of Nazi Spanish, uh, the Crash Nolova program also is one of the major uh, programs that the ANC in Gauteng came up with so that it must be able then to deal and tackle head on the problem of, of, of unemployment in, 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 the, uh, in the province. Uh, but you must understand that the issue of uh, jobs is a moving target. Uh, stat statistically, we know that there are 10,000 people are migrating to Johannesburg and every month. Mm -hmm. Now, that means that if you resolve a 10,000 <laughs> job issue last month, you will have another job uh, 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 issue that because the people are migrating to the urban centers and Johannesburg is the biggest uh, center where a majority of the people across the country uh, uh, migrate to Johannesburg for greener pastures. But look, uh, the 500,000 uh, employment scheme that Panyaza Litsufi have came with is a good initiative that Johannesburg will become the biggest beneficiary of that particular program. And also the ANC's manifest to highlight that uh, uh, jobs are the, uh, uh, is the key priority that we need to uh, look at the issues of jobs. Also, but critics are saying that you guys are using it to campaign as we are heading to the elections. No, no, look, uh, to answer that, it looks like if any government program can be, uh, in, during the election uh, uh, season, it will be used as a campaigning tool. But we have been providing uh, these services throughout uh, 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 our 30 years rule in, in South Africa. And look, when Panyaza took over, uh, 18 years, uh, 18 months ago, it was from a conference of the ANC in 2022, Houghton Provincial Conference, and that conference resolution made sure that, in fact, one of the key resolution was that we need to deal head on with employment and unemployment in the province. Hence, Panyaza now is aggressively dealing with unemployment. It is a conference resolution of 2022, and at that particular time, there were no elections looming. Uh, it was just a conference resolution. In fact, Panyaza now is implementing conference resolutions of the ANC Provincial Conference that took place uh, in the winter of 2022. Then obviously some of the implementation now are coinciding with the election season. And then obviously those that have no solution to, the, uh, to our programs, they will be always uh, playing the, that we, we are using uh, these programs for electioning. And quite unfortunately, there's nothing we're going to do we have, we, have, we have the mandate to, uh, to, to govern Houghton and we must govern and we must govern decisively. Masilo Seregele, let's take a quick break. Uh, I want us to just touch on the uh, Siangoba rally when we come back. We're going to take a quick uh, short ad break. When we come back, we continue the discussions. Do stay with us. Welcome back. You're still watching So It Today. Thank you for choosing to stay with us. My name is Thabo Malokwane. Now tonight we have uh, Masilo Serekele, who is the ANC Johannesburg spokesperson. And he's here to talk to us about the ANC matters and the provincial Sianova Rally, which is scheduled to take place on the 25th of May. He's still joining us in studio. Uh, Masilo, uh, I mean, we've been talking about the various challenges and some of the strides that you've made as um, the ANC in the region and in the province. In, I mean, you know, I just want to hear from you as the ANC uh, in the Johannesburg region. We know that uh, losing Houting will be very brutal for the ANC because it's the economic hub uh, of the country, accounting to 33.1% of the GDP. So obviously, uh, you will be fighting tooth and nail for it. How has your campaign been like uh, in the province in general? Have uh, are, are people receiving you well in, in, in their homes, uh, you know, in Soweto, when you get into the various homes there? Uh, are people resonating to the message of the ANC? 
Look, uh, I agree with you. Kauten is a critical uh, province uh, of the ANC, and, but it was a critical province in the country. As you've said, that is the economic hub of, of, of this country. In fact, uh, it is the third biggest e economy uh, uh, in the continent. Yeah. Uh, but the, look, we are not going to let go of Kauten. Uh, the, look, simply put, the ANC is going to win Kauten province. Uh, we have put uh, systems in place to, to make sure that we we defend Kauten uh, uh, province. In fact, if you can see now, the programs that we've came with, uh, led by our provincial chairperson, Comrade Panyaza Litswifi, have been a program that shows that we are serious about winning Kauten back. And we have been pushing back. Uh, we have been, re been received well in all of the corners of, 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 the, of the province. Uh, look, the program of Nancy Span by Panyaza Litswifi have shown that uh, the ANC is serious about uh, uh, leading the uh, government in the seventh administration. But also, what we it, it have, uh, what comforts us, before I come to how we have been received in yeah. way to another area, what comforts us that uh, you, we had a media study that shows that, uh, that uh, did a study that was conducted, I think it's one of the media publications, that who is the most trusted a politician in South Africa. Yeah. National leaders were, were, were there, including other opposition leaders. Uh, the Premier of the Western Cape was there, Panyaza Litsuf was there, our President was there. Guess what? The most trusted leader in the country is Panyaza Litsuf. Now, it means that the ANC have given you a trusted leader uh, in the country, not only in Khaute, but in the country. Mm -hmm. But Panyaza is going to be lead, is leading the elections as a phase of the elections in Houten and is going to be uh, is our premier also. Our people have, have absolute confidence in Panyaza. They have seen his work. He's a tried and tested cadre of the movement. He have done wonders when he was in the portfolio of education. If at some point Premier Makura uh, redeployed him to finance and there was an outcry. The whole province out uh, complained that Panyaza should go back to education and, and Premier Makura had to give in to the demands of, of the residents of Houghton so that Panyaza should go back to the portfolio of education. The point that I'm making is that Panyaza, he is uh, uh, the, the face of our campaign in the province and in, in everyone else in this province has an absolute confidence in him. Our, our campaign uh, how I've been received in, throughout the corners of, 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 of the province, including what you are uh, uh, so it. We have been received very well. Uh, we have been received very well. In fact, we hosted the president uh, last weekend before the yeah. president went to KZN. Uh, the, the weekend of the 13th and the 14th, the president of the ANC, uh, President Sarah Ramaphosa, was in our region. We went uh, to Zanspreit, Cosmo City, we were in Ivory Park. We were in Fine Town in Orange Farm, and people came in their thousands uh, to come and listen to the president because we had public meetings in those areas, and 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 the, and the president was well received. The ANC was well received. In fact, when we were in Orange Farm, when we were in Ivory Park, in what uh, 133, the the residents were telling the president how our councillor in that particular ward is a hard-working councillor. Mm. Uh, uh, Councillor Marumo there. In fact, the residents were telling uh, the, uh, the president how the ANC deployees on the ground are working very well uh, with them and are hard working. But uh, in Soweto, to, to be precise, because Soweto is the biggest township, is the biggest uh, 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 concentrated area that brings the highest number of votes to the ANC, are well received in those particular areas. Our biggest concern uh, to us, it is no doubt the ANC is going to win. The biggest concern is people who, who don't come out in their large numbers at the date of voting. Mm. People who use the voting day as a holy day, they do their, uh, their own errands, they do bribes and chills and everything. And we want to urge people to come out in their large numbers on the day of voting, on the 29th of May, to come and vote correctly and vote for the ANC. Let's go to the Siangoba rally. <laughs> I mean, it's happening on the 25th. Yes. Uh, it's three, three, four days before yes. uh, the elections are there. What will be different uh, this time from the ANC? I know, uh, you know, there's a spectacle when it comes to uh, your events. Uh, we've, we've, we've seen it with the manifestos and stuff. Um, what will be the purpose of this Siyad Rally? Are you affirming uh, that uh, actually this is, will be a decisive victory? 
Look, the ANC during the election are phases, have different phases that we do, we have. Currently, the phase we have now is the Maishome phase. Maishome is a cell where one mutu mutu in the program, the meaning we're interacting with people uh, across the corners of the province. Then from the 14th of May to the 29th of May is Sango yeah. phase. Meaning now, there now, the final lab is victory uh, phase where we are then sweeping out to, towards victory. Uh, now, <laughs> the biggest spectacle of that particular phase will be on the 25th of May uh, in, in, in uh, FMB Stadium, a 90,000 capacity, the biggest stadium in the country. There we are going to be showing our, our strength, our mighty. That is an aerial battle. We are going to be showing all the, the doubting Thomases that the ANC yeah. is, 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 is alive. The ANC is a big elephant in this country. And in fact, we are just going to crush all hoops. I uh, appeal on the on the 25th of May. Uh, we are uh, going to show uh, people that the ANC is 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 there. ANC is big. Uh, this organization is too big to fail, and that demonstration will be on the 25th of May in, in FMB Stadium. Just in brief, before we go for an ad break, so do you think you know? I mean, we've seen it on Twitter. People playing this thing of uh, you know who has. Uh, the capacity to fill in stadiums. I mean, we've seen with the various political parties. Do you think it's a show of strength uh, from the party? Or it just shows that actually we are a big party after all? No, no, look, yeah, it's a show of strength uh, 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 in, in the main. If you can't mobilize people to a gathering, can you mobilize people to go and vote for you? That's a question that you should be able to, and that says that when we mobilize people to a stadium to come in their large numbers to come and demonstrate that they, they reaffirm the ANC, they reaffirm their support on the ANC, that becomes a show of strength. Yes, others are uh, were copycats, uh, uh, but we know uh, they, they have tried to do that. They failed to hopelessly in Moses Mabida. Uh, I think uh, the people of KZN rejected them uh, outrightly there. The ANC went a, a, a week later was reaffirmed in that particular province, shows that KZN is still a province of the ANC. And also then now, uh, the Sanova Rally, we want to feel Sanova uh, Rally as the ANC Gauti. Anyone who must come there must just come with their cars. Buses are going to be all the buses of the ANC Gauti to fill the 90,000 capacity to show the strength that the ANC is reclaiming back Gauti. Let's take a quick ad break. When we come back, we wrap up the conversation. I just want to hear, um, you know, your plans as the ANC as we are heading to the elections. Do stay with us. We're coming back after this. Welcome back. You're still watching So It's Today. Thank you for choosing to stay with us. We are almost at the end of the show. My guest is Masilo Seregele, who is the spokesperson of the ANC Johannesburg region. He's my guest uh, tonight. Masilo, much appreciated for staying on as we wrap up the conversation. I mean, I was going to the question of what has the ANC done in the past um, 30 years? People want to be affirmed because now they're saying you're playing by, uh, you know, what you did in the past and there's nothing to show now. Uh, what have you done? And then also, what are your promises to the people of Hauteng, to the people of Soweto, Alex, uh, Cosmo City, everywhere in this province, in, in, in the region? No, look, thanks very much. It look, it's an interesting question. We get this question everywhere we go. What have we done in 30 years? And I think it's an important question that we must answer as the ANC. And what have we done in 30 years? In 30 years that we've been in government, we've administrated uh, the best country in the African continent. We are the best country in this continent with 62 million population. We have the best revenue collector in the continent. In fact, we have just re re uh, uh, some few weeks ago we have collected 2.2 trillion of rents that was collected by the South African Revenue Service, which is a record in the African continent. And that record, the top five countries, which is Egypt, Morocco, Ethiopia, and Nigeria, if you combine all of them, all what they've collected in this financial year, they, they don't even surpass what South Africa have collected alone. And, but when you collect, if you, if you combine their population, their population is over 500 million. And the population of South Africa of 62 million beats 500 million population of these five, five, four countries, which are Morocco, Egypt, Ethiopia, and then Nigeria. That shows that the ANC have been administrated in this country far much better than any other state in the African continent. But we, we have not stopped there. 
uh, we've provided uh, better services. We've provided 4.8 million houses uh, to the people of this country free of charge. Mm. And that 4.8 uh, houses, it means that it's not only a shelter only that we've provided. It's electricity that has been provided that comes with that house. It is water that comes with that house. But that 4.8 million houses house over six people because South African households have an average of six people. And if you take six people, time is the 4.8, you have 25 million people that we have touched and transformed their life drastically. And those people go to Northeast schools. Those people, when they pass metric, they go through the uh, Tibet colleges and universities through the NSFAS. And those people now will then have the skills and then will have find employment opportunities and they will create SMMEs. In a go, through the, the housing project, we have touched over 25 million people. 25 million people who have changed their life. In fact, uh, me and you must, must know that uh, 30 years ago, we didn't have waterfall. The waterfall that we know, 30 years ago, was not there. It means that is the police of the ends that developed waterfall. 30 years ago, we didn't have Aspen Hills, Eye of Africa, that you find in the Mall of the South. And that is the police of the ends that have developed uh, Aspen Hills, Eye of Africa, in, in the south of, this, of Johannesburg. Me and you know that there was no uh, Melrose 30 years ago. This is the police of the ends that have created uh, uh, Melrose. We have drastically changed the, the lives of our people in a drastic way that no any other uh, uh, country in this continent have ever done. In fact, we are a model to the entire world. When everyone else has a problem, they come to Mashaban Ruvu, which is the residential house of the president of the ANC in Pretoria, to come and seek wisdom to the leadership of the ANC, because the leadership of the ANC have been providing direction to this, uh, to, uh, to, the, to this continent. But I, I don't want yeah. to... Yeah. Let, let me just, just put yeah. this point. We had COVID, uh, a, a world pandemic that was ripping apart developed nations. We saw the president of Italy on an international TV crying, hopeless, could not do anything under COVID. But the ANC leadership under COVID, we held the country together. In fact, four of the, of, of the most deadly uh, variant uh, that was discovered by the world to, during COVID, two of them were discovered in this country. It means that the, the health system of this country is, one, is up there with one of the best countries. And South Africa, by the way, it's not even a developed nation. It's a developing nation. It's not a developed nation, but we're up there. Our systems uh, were up there with developed Let's nations. Let's move to uh, Sian Mubarani. <laughs> uh, just in closing, what can people of Gauteng expect uh, during the Sian um, Mubarani? And, and also, uh, what will be, uh, you know, the highlight of it? I mean, I'm not preempting it, but obviously you know what's going to happen. No, the highlight of the Sian Mubarani is that the president's address will touch into the plans of the seventh administration. Yeah. What becomes the plans of the ANC uh, post uh, the elections? Because the ANC is going to be in, in, uh, in government in the seventh ad administration. And those plans will speak to about the, the jobs that we, 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 the president will be outlining uh, in, 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 in the marine economy, hydrogen, yeah. and, the, and, 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 and the green economy, uh, that will, will, the president will be outlining that. But the president also will be outlining new industries that will come into our economy. The president will be outlining that we should be able then uh, to, to invest in the youth of this country, that they must play a meaningful role in our economy. And those youth, some of them, we must enroll them into the black industrial uh, pro program that was long uh, launched, meaning that program must be expanded so that black people must play a meaningful role. They must not just become SMMEs at the, uh, the township, but they must play in a global space in export and exports of goods for this country. But the president, in, in, in simple terms, we will ensure through the manifesto, we will be then outlining the plans of the six priorities, which are the six priorities of our manifesto the ANC. Masilo, much appreciated. I know we've ran out of time. We could have spent an hour talking about the various issues there because there's quite a lot that I wanted to ask. But uh, much appreciated for coming in. Hopefully we will have you guys back no, on no. the show. No, thanks very much. I hope you must invite us after the election so that we must come and then uh, outline the plans of the seventh administration as the ANC, both in Khauten and also in the country. But uh, thank you very much for hosting us. Much appreciated. That was ANC Johannesburg spokesperson Masilo Serekele talking to us about the campaigns that the ruling party has launched in parts of the province and nationally ahead of the much anticipated elections this year on the 29th of uh, March, rather of May. 
Uh, well, that's how we wrap up uh, today's episode of Soweto Today. Remember, we love hearing from you, so please feel free to talk to us about this episode. Send us an email at Soweto Today at SowetoTV.co.za or you can call us or WhatsApp us at 081 and the rest of the team, it's good night from us and thank you for watching.